Installation of the Shared Game Timer overlay is done from the Chrome Web Store. There's a link to it in the description of this video. But if you go to sharedgametimer.com, there is also a link from the Chrome extension page right here. So once you're on the Web Store, uh, all you have to do is click Add to Chrome. Say that you want to add the extension. And then it'll tell you that it's been installed. But there's one more step that you need to do, which is that up here on this little puzzle piece, which is where you see all your extensions, click on it. And then down here, you see the shared game time overlay and next to it, a little pin, click the pin so that you see the icon up in the toolbar. And now it is ready to be used. So the way that you run the Chrome overlay extension is to activate it in two tabs. One of the tabs is where you're running the game timer that you want to show. And then the other tab is where you want to show the game timer overlay. So right here, I got an example of Tabletopia here, but it can be any tab. So it could be Gmail, it could be anything. So activation then is really simple. You click the little icon of the share game timer in both tabs. And when you click them, they turn green, showing that they're activated. And when you've done that in both tabs, you'll see some things pop up in the game tab. So one, two things that are always there, well, one thing that is always there is the turn order. So you here, see here that it's the same turn order as we have here. And if we reorder the turn order, it's shown here as well. The second thing that you can see is uh, one or zero, one or two or several buttons up here. And these buttons up here are always the same as the buttons that you have on your own timer tile. So I'm currently logged in as Gustav. So I see Gustav's button here, start game. And it doesn't matter if I click the button here, or if I click it here, it's the same. And you see here, when I started the game, I'm now the first player and my choices are to end the turn or pass. And the same buttons are always shown here. If I click end turn, the buttons disappear because now it is Don's turn and I'm not logged in as Don, so I don't see Don's buttons up here. If I want to you know, overreach my authority and click Don's buttons, I can't do it through the overlay tile, but I can do it in here. The Shared Game Timer have a feature where you can track victory points and money using the app. And there's a whole video in under tutorials, I'll show you that later, where this feature is explained in detail. But in this video here, I want to just show how it's integrated into the Chrome overlay. So um, if you look on the Chrome overlay on a game that has this feature activated, you have an additional section on the right, which is the bank. It's divided into three sections. At the top, you see the running total for each of the players. So we can see that the green player have 53 victory points and seven coins. Nice look shown here. At the very bottom, you have a log of the latest transactions that have been done. So this is not all the transactions, just the last eight or so. And then you have a little button here, which when you click it opens up a form and you can submit transactions here. So normally you would you know, submit new transactions by clicking these buttons in the timer itself and go through this dialog, but you can do it all from the Chrome overlay. So it's a simple form. You choose if you want to transact in victory points or money, if you're trading with the bank or one of the other players, and then you put in how much, you, how much you're moving. So you can gain five victory points like this. If you're losing victory points, just put a minus sign in front of the number. And the button here will tell you if you're losing or gaining. And you can even put in mathematical formulas like that. And the Chrome overlay will calculate how much this is. And then you submit it by clicking the button like that. You can also submit it by just pressing the enter button. Or if you want to submit it and let's lose something. If we want to submit it and minimize this form, you can press shift enter. Uh, there are two other keyboard shortcuts. You can press alt L to show and hide the log. You can press Alt O to show and hide uh, the opponent's scores. All of these shortcuts can be customized. So if you right click the share game timer symbol, go to manage extensions. In the top left, the little hamburger menu here, 
go down to keyboard shortcuts and here you have all of the shortcuts and if you click these little pen icons here you can remap them however you like all right that was it for this feature um i hope you enjoyed the chrome overlay if you have any issues or feature suggestions do contact me you can find me on at meeple at sharedgametime.com and the link to that is always at the bottom of most pages on the sharedgametime.com all right i hope you enjoy all your board games <laughs>